come on, crack an egg with me this morning. <laughs> 79 years old. And you know something? The big problem is short-term memory loss. I hit the champagne last night so that I could have it this morning, and now I can't remember what I did with it. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that fellow. What an expression on his face. And he's quite right. <laughs> what an old fart. Well, here's the old fart. And, and actually, I'm breaking all the rules of television this morning. Is This isn't going to be static. I'm, I'm going to wander around a little bit. Uh, I'm going to wander around my cottage. Uh, and, and enjoy the morning of uh, television. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a dreadful medium, isn't it? Uh, but uh, um, if there's the uh, 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 the paintings on the wall, and that one has got great memories for me because it was given to me in Kosovo by a wonderful man who had been in prison as a political prisoner. Uh, he opened up a restaurant with his family, and it's by far the finest restaurant I've ever been, and I miss it. It's Renaissance. If you ever find yourself in Pristina, find out where Renaissance is because it's moved from that original place. But it was full of artists and poets and, and, and journalists and all sorts of things. It was my work's canteen. And I was presented that by one of the artists. And I brought it home and my late wife Valerie said, I hate the damn thing. <laughs> and she put, it in the, she put it upstairs in the loft. And I returned to Kosovo about a year later and uh, Ilya, the hotel owner, uh, said, um, well, you know, uh, the the fact is, Keith, that uh, I, I wanted to show you um, the EU Artists of the Year book, and it's a beautiful book, about 200 pages, and printed in great colour plates, which the EU could afford, and here was uh, my painting. <laughs> so I came home and said, Val, get it out of the... <laughs> Get it out of the attic, quick. <laughs> I personally like it. I think it's, it's a very interesting painting. But there we are. Uh, uh, so um, I'm uh, just uh, going to uh, just indulge myself this morning. Um, and why not? Um, you know, the, the interesting thing is that at, at 79, uh, you really feel that you can do a lot that... Um, other people would feel very conscious about it, is I really don't care. You know, I keep on getting people say, oh, your, your, threat, your credit is threatened. And, uh, <laughs> and I say, I don't care. <laughs> it threatened me with what you like. <laughs> I got Parkinson's, I'm 79. Boy, <laughs> am I grateful I'm here. I really don't care about the rest. And what it does is it gives you a freedom to be able to uh, uh, say what you think. Um, and uh, as long as that is based on experience and fact, uh, and uh, the incidents happen to you personally, then that is fair enough. And that's what this program is all about. Now, I've had all sorts of people because I've kicked around the world. I've been to more than 60 countries in my lifetime. And I've worked in extensively, when I say extensively, more than a week, but sometimes a year or two years, in about 40 of them. So I'm not doing too badly on that regard. But you know, the one thing that I've never done, and it, if I, it's on my bucket list, and one way or another I'll do it one day, and that is uh, go south of the equator. Everywhere that I've traveled has been extensively across the Northern Hemisphere. And the one thing is, even if I only put one foot over, I think the closest is, I'm not quite sure how close Hong Kong is, but the closest I've really been is three or 400 miles when I was in Lagos in, in Nigeria. But uh, let's hope that I can fulfill that. But the other thing is, of course, is I, I live virtually on the meridian. So, uh, forgive me if what I do is, uh, it's not quite accurate, but it's close enough, is I'm going to stand with my... Uh, feet apart and hopefully you can see that and you see because it's my birthday I've indulged myself and I haven't even got dressed but uh, anyway I'm standing with my feet apart so so that, that half of me is 79 <laughs> that half of me is 78 and in fact 
one of the longest standing and, and, and a, a friend of whom I'm enormously fond, Mary Holsorn, <laughs> actually uh, emailed me and she said, ha ha, you know, I'm in Vancouver. Well, actually, she lives in Victoria on Vancouver Island. And she said, uh, you're still only 78 over here. <laughs> so she was looking at the younger version. <laughs> how, how wonderful that I live where I can be 79 on one one half and 78 on the other and it only lasts for a few hours but there we are i'm enjoying that um the, the uh, yeah it, this is going to be a whole bunch of nonsense this morning and you're just going to, have to put up with it uh, uh, oh god there we go all right let's sit down again let's get steady because if i'm going to have my champagne in a little while i need to uh, uh, make sure that I'm, I'm ready to have it but you know the, one of the interesting things uh, uh, about um, uh, reaching this age uh, and, and having the life I've led because I've been a journalist for most of my life. Uh, and I say most of my life because uh, in the very younger days at university, I helped build the Trans-Canada Highway. I went off into the mountains and I it was given a shovel and I uh, took one pile of dirt from there and put it there for a whole summer. Uh, and I ended up that summer being a a powder man uh, uh, blowing the sides of mountains down with sticks of dynamite. Uh, and uh, I became a, a survey man uh, and uh, surveyed uh, some of the areas that were going to become the road. And nowadays, that road is through the Rocky Mountains and take you right down to Vancouver. Uh, and, and I helped build part of it. And uh, you learn lessons as you go along. There was a wonderful Irish chef, Mickey Gahagan, uh, who was, um, his brother was actually a famous wrestler in, uh, in the United Kingdom in the 1950s. How, who can remember that back, far back? Uh, uh, but but, but uh, Mickey t- took me under his wing and, and used to uh, go off on and, and some of his projects. And he said, uh, you know, talk about uh, scientific approaches to things. He said, we need to divert a stream uh, through a, a, a piece of rock. And he said, let me show you. And, and there was a, a tunnel that looked absolutely perfect. And he said, we took a piece of chalk and we, 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 we did that for the mouth of it. And then we walked around to the other end and we did that for the end of it. He said, and we just got some picks and some shovels uh, and, a, and a couple of jackhammers. And he said, we came out perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now if I go to the bank, you know, I, I, it's just hilarious. I, I, I went to, to a bank the other day because I'm trying to get the address of, of my dear old aunt who just died. And, and um, it, I, I said, uh, you know, here's, here's her name and so on and so forth. And I've been asked to find out um, if she closed an account or whatever. And, <laughs> and the lady who was charming said, you know, you... you <laughs> Unless you could give me the postcode, we, we don't deal in names anymore. <laughs> I, I I couldn't help but think about Mickey Gahagan and uh, uh, the, <laughs> how he built a tunnel. And now you, you can't find out how much anybody's got left in a bank account unless you've got the postcode. <laughs> and they say that we're advancing. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, I am indulging myself this morning. Uh, but, but, you know, the other thing is it, 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 it's funny and... People intend to be nice, and, and, and of course I sometimes have a very sharp tongue, and those who are good friends, uh, 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 and I'm pleased to say that I really do have a lot of good friends, even if I've picked up a few enemies along the way, that's life, and that's the sort of thing that you meet at 79, <laughs> and with the, the, the modern way of, uh, of doing things on the internet, uh, the, the enemies troll from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, why, why worry about it? I'm 79, for God's sake. Uh, but but uh, uh, anyway, um, one of the things that I think that we, we, we find out is that, um, that you have to appreciate uh, that uh, people say and do things, and, and, and sometimes they think they're being funny, and sometimes they think they're being uh, sharp and, and, and witty, and so on and so forth, and, and you take them with a pinch of salt and you roll over and away you go. Uh, but there was uh, I, yesterday, uh, I've been rabbiting on about the fact that the local government, and I will continue to rabbit on, uh, are talking about taking away the bus pass from uh, elderly people in East Sussex. I haven't heard anybody else, any other council, uh, say the same thing. So we would be different, and I think that they do have to actually get legislation changed to be able to do that. But nonetheless, uh, that that's in their plans because um, they spend so much money on roads and so on and so forth. But I I, I happen to to mention because uh, we have a, a, a lovely uh, part of the coast 
uh, east of here called Pevensey, Pevensey Bay. And I was uh, privileged uh, two or three years ago, well, actually it was a bit more than that because it was when my wife was alive, uh, because uh, our, our priest, Father Christopher Channer, and his wife Laura had a, a, a lovely little uh, cottage down there and they would invite us to go down to Pevensey Bay. And we spent many happy hours there. But I happened to mention that one of the, the cuts was likely to be a bus from Pevensey. Uh, and, and somebody came on and sort of said, I didn't know there was a bus from Pevensey to Lewis. Well, I know what she was saying saying, and God bless her, she, she's absolutely right. She's, what am I doing, poking my nose down there? Uh, but uh, we, are, we do try on this programme to link uh, uh, what I call the tiny towns from Battle to, uh, to Brighton. Brighton's not a tiny town, but we only go as far as Kemp Town on the edge uh, of Brighton, and that is tiny, or at least in our terms. Uh, but but uh, really, the thing that I would like to point out is that it doesn't matter where you are, all roads lead to a wonderful adventure. And if it's Pevensey, you get on the bus and you can end up in Hong Kong. You can end up in China. Another of my good friends, Alex Kirby, took his wife and went on the Trans-Siberian Railway and then uh, uh, flew across to Japan. And he started in Lewis uh, on the number 28 bus, going down to the uh, uh, station in Brighton to catch the train to Gatwick Airport. Don't ignore the bus on your route. Don't let them cut it, because it can take you into lands that are magic. It can give you a life that is wonderful. Number 28 bus, or whatever number your bus is, don't ever let them cut it, because you'll regret it for the rest of your life. It can take you off into the sunset, or into the sunrise, into marvelous places, and after a lifetime of being a curmudgeon and a miserable sod, to be very bluntly, and yes, <laughs> as, as he says, <laughs> what an old thought, and he's absolutely right, <laughs> and I love being one. <laughs> You've no idea the freedom it gives you. <laughs> oh, 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 forgive me for it's so self indulgent this program this morning, and I really don't care. <laughs> tomorrow I'll care, uh, because tomorrow I shall go back to serious topics again, and and uh, we we need uh, somebody to to puncture uh, some of the things that are going on because uh, uh, we are a society that less and less cares uh, for anybody in it. Uh, we're so busy with uh, computers or computer games or or. or uh, not having the ability to read anymore or, or to create excitement in the mind. So I don't mind being a, a, an old heart. And now, of course, I've lost the thread of what I was saying. And who cares? This morning, I don't care. Uh, and uh, yes, I am an old heart. Uh, and uh, I will continue to, continue to, to be so uh, for as long as the days that I've got left. Um, and, and uh, you know, the, the, the other thing is that uh, the other, well, <laughs> there are lots of things that should be happening that aren't. <laughs> I, I, the wonderful uh, uh, group of uh, 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 Robert MacDonald and Hamish Simpson, known as Tish, and uh, uh, Richard Trelfer, who was known uh, at school as Nelly because Trelfer sounded like uh, Trafalgar, and he got the name of Nelson. And of course, in inevitably, it got turned into to Nelly. His mother was furious. But we still, uh, he, he sent me an email the other day, and he signed it Nelly. And here we go, over the years, uh, what wonderful stuff, and, and other wonderful friends. But anyway, we're trying to get a reunion together. <laughs> there's only five of us, but do you think we could coordinate? No, <laughs> it's quite beyond us. So there's, there's five of farts to start off with <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> but uh, uh, what I started to say was um, uh, I have uh, two other friends um, uh, uh, one is a, a wonderful television producer, I'll only give his first name so he's not embarrassed, it's Graham and the other is a, uh, my uh, solicitor but he's also a great friend and his name is John and uh, uh, John has just been uh, uh, diagnosed with leukemia and he's undertaking some special treatment and uh, if it doesn't work he hasn't got much left. Uh, and Graham uh, is also in, in uh, the same situation. Is uh, He's got COPD and uh, it, it's uh, slowly wearing away at him. And I've got Parkinson's, which uh, is inevitably is, is taking me downhill. Nothing can be done. I haven't got any cure for it. <laughs> so, so what we do, the three of us, when we get together, we do drink a lot. But, you know, the other thing is we simply laugh at our uh, um, 
incapacity, if you want to call it that. We laugh at our illnesses. And when I go to the doctor and I say, hey, you, 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 this, this is the old thing, which they've stopped saying to me, is how much do you drink each week? I don't care. <laughs> In units, I really don't care. No, I don't drink actually that much, but when we get together, the three of us, we're just awful. But, uh, but uh, she, this, this wonderful doctor that I've got, and a wonderful consultant, they're both gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. My God, if I was 40 years younger, I'd try to run away with one or the other of them. <laughs> and, 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 and yes, and I'm politically incorrect. I've got all the isms because I grew up in an age which had isms. And if somebody was to stop saying, I'm going to prosecute me or accuse me for what I did in 1960 and 1970, go right ahead. <laughs> because this idiotic thing that we're going through at the moment is it will pass. And eventually generations will look back and say, oh, look, how daft they were in those days. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I can say all these things, and, and, and the thought police aren't going to come and pick me up, I doubt, because <laughs> it w won't be worth it. But anyway, uh, 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 what the, the doctor and the consultant say is the three of us do exactly the right thing. There was once a, 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 a man, he, it was, a book was written about him, and a movie was made of him. He locked himself into a, a room, in a hotel room, and, and found all the comedies that he could in books and, and films and so on, and he watched them all, and he laughed laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed himself uh, so that he cured himself of, of his illness. And, and we're the same, the three of us. We, we just stare it in the face. We laugh, we giggle, we say the most outrageous things, and occasionally <laughs> we can't find the bus stop <laughs> because of, of the amount we've had to drink on a particular day. And, and they say, both uh, the consultants will say, that's the way to beat it. So if, if I can pass on one piece of advice at 79 is, if you're ill, laugh at it. Laugh at it, laugh at it, because whatever it does, it, it, it triggers something physically. I'm not just saying that it's, it's, it's a, a mental thing. It's physically, it helps you get well. Uh, so, uh, you know, <laughs> it's all I got to do is to say, Lewis District Council, customer first. <laughs> I, I get hysterics. <laughs> I really get hysterics. They they, they get them first. They, they haven't a clue. <laughs> not, not a clue. <laughs> oh dear, 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 dear. I'm getting myself into trouble again. But anyway, uh, laugh, laugh yourself uh, to health. That's my last word <laughs> at 79. And, and if those of you think that I've been dibbling at the champagne already this morning, no, I haven't. That's ready. It's going to come. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie me. What a lovely time I've had. And, and I know that some people will say, yeah, look at the old fart. <laughs> and indeed, they're quite right. But I also know that there are a multitude of people who are wonderful friends, and they have been friends, true friends, over a, a lifetime. Some I met when I was 11. Mary I met when I was 21. And over the years, even though our lives have been parted, we've traveled, uh, we've lost touch with one another, we've come back and made touch with one another, uh, but uh, uh, that friendship has stayed and stayed with me for, uh, um, well, in, in the case of the boys uh, uh, for, uh, well, 70 years, 69 uh, at least. And uh, uh, all sorts of other people who watch this morning say, what about me, Keith, what about me? Yes, I've got some wonderful friends and I wish I could actually uh, uh, thank everybody individually but the fact of the matter is I'm running out of time I'm three minutes over my my, my uh, self-imposed time uh, which I would never have done in my days as a, a, a professional broadcaster well I'm still a professional but still nonetheless in, in the days when I was working for one of the big organizations I would never have done that uh, I was going to wax lyrical about being an entrepreneur and all the rest of it but I have <laughs> to sorry <laughs> um, today I'm half 79, and in eight hours' time, Mary, I'll be all 79, <laughs> because uh, the meridian will have caught up with me. Uh, but I still need to dip my toe south of the equator, and when I do, I'll let, let you all know. But uh, I've had a wonderful life, uh, uh, and I've got wonderful friends, and I've got wonderful memories. Uh, but I figure, as I put in a blog last night, I've still got 11 years. You've all got me, put up with me for another 11 years uh, before I actually peg it. Uh, and during those 11 years, I hope that I can get around to a few more countries that I haven't been to, but go back to uh, the Balkans, uh, to Armenia, to Russia, uh, to the Middle East, uh, to Canada, to the United States, uh, to all the places that I've been and had so much fun. 
have so many friends and had a, a great deal of love for towards me. At 79, not bad at all, not bad. I, I, I'm going to have some of these. And if I can find the champagne, <laughs> why not? I'm going to get pissed. What a lovely thought for the day. Toodle pip.